Hi, welcome or welcome back. This is me now attempting to color this DMC Double May Cry fan art that I've been, you know, that I've shown countless times already. Like I, I even had it printed three times. So I'm just setting it up. I'm just setting down my alcohol markers and I'm showing you my older alcohol marker set. It came from my Chinese craft store abroad um, it's I'm not dissing the product but it is just a very very affordable level alcohol markers and it's it's nice very colorful but I think the problem is that it's just too bold the, the color selections are just too bold and it's a good thing that I did research more about Uhuhu and the markers that are available so yeah, here I am. Um, for my DMC fan art, I I don't know if I said it before, but I did. Um, but here I am. I'm telling you that I'm referencing FKA Twigs, and specifically a music video, uh, a scene uh, from her song "Tears in the Club." So I I really think that music video was just striking. And musically, like sonically, yes, it's a great song, sure. It's a nice R&B, dancey song. But knowing FK Twigs, um, she's very artsy and quite eclectic and weird. And that kind of resonated with me, you know. So yes, here I am. I'm just trying to imitate the colors of greens, blues, and I'm layering it on with some pinks as well because there's you know because FKA Twigs is, has this really strong makeup I guess I was I kind of subconsciously imitated the colors like literally from that music video scene and then you know trying to translate that with the alcohol markers that I have I'm going to tell you now I have not finished this one yet because I it's still so intimidating. I guess I don't... <laughs> I have to tell you, I didn't really plan much of the, the colors, the composition. Like, I just wanted to draw the FKA Twigs uh, scene and then put it on DMC fan art context. Like, whatever. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta need to read the hobbies. Um, yeah. I think I did. I think I did great. <laughs> no, not the colors, but I think what I mean is the um, what is this? The uh, the composition, like the line art, and the scene. Okay, so oh, um, the model, right? So I'm referencing a Thai actress. Uh, I'm gonna butcher her name again. I'm so sorry, but her name, at least her stage name, is known as Bebe. Bebe Tan Chanok Ritak. Yeah. I'm going to uh, put descriptions and details about her so that you guys could know. But anyway, um, I saw her on a TV series before. It was dubbed in Tagalog in our local uh, local channel. I don't remember which show it was, but I thought she was nice. And I had to find out about her. Oh, uh, I think it was a Thai version of the Princess Hours from South Korea. So yeah, it was a Thai Princess Hours TV series. So uh, here I am, just layering browns on her hair because I saw some tones of browns on her hair. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, this character. Um, yes, this is a DMC fan art, but um, I don't know if I told you that this is our fan sequel reboot reinterpretation of the divinity statue and we've named her Inanna so if you guys are mythology fans Sumerian mythology fans she's the sister of Ereshkigal so yeah she's life and we have a character who's a lady of the underworld of death so you know anyway um 
I'm just really glad to do this, you know, this is a hobby. Um, yeah, it's relaxing. It's nice to do art sometimes. I hope that, you know, with this little art content that I get to share, I mean, it's not that you guys could learn anything from me, I'm not an expert, but I'm just, you know, just a fellow art appreciator. <laughs> and UMC fan. Yeah. Okay, guys.